Hey guys, if you're interested in Node.js, I would suggest taking my Udemy Node.js Dev to Development course, uh, where we build two real applications and deploy them to Heroku. I also have a bunch of other courses that are available, including my latest Mernstack course. If you're interested, head to traversymedia.com and check them out. Hey, what's up, guys? So after my video called uh, what's, no what's New in Node 10 that I did about two weeks ago, I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on how to use the ES module syntax or the ESM syntax or ECMAScript modules, whatever you want to call it. And if you don't know what I mean, it's the import and e export way of creating and bringing in modules, which if you've used React or Angular or Vue, you you've probably used this syntax a lot because they use um, Webpack and, and Babel to basically compile it down. Uh, now, Node.js has its own system called CommonJS, which is that require syntax that we use. Um, but they're really working hard on trying to really incorporate ES modules. At this point in Node 10, we can use the syntax, but there's a few stipulations. One is that it has to be under an experimental flag. Uh, also, you have to use a .mjs extension. And there's a couple other things as well. If you really want to get into it, you can look at the documentation. There's a bunch of good articles out there as well. If I remember, I'll link some of them in the description. But in this video, I basically just want to show you how to implement it. All right. Now, there's other ways of using import and export in Node as well. One is Babel, um, which I've used for quite a while now when I want when I want to use that um, syntax. And if you guys want me to do a video showing you how to set up Babel with Node, then let me know. I can do that. It's, it'll be a pretty simple video. Um, you also have the standard thing slash ESM module, which is a production ready zero dependency ES module loader. And this this has been around. This was this is for Node 6 plus actually. And it's pretty easy to implement. But if you want to do it natively without having to install anything, that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to VS Code and I just have a blank folder called Node ESM and we're going to just go ahead and generate a package.json file with npm init and I'm just going to add the dash y flag and that makes it so I don't have to answer any questions or anything and this is what it should look like and let's clear this up now. I'm going to just use Express to show you how we can import it using ESM and also just create a basic server with a with a route. So let's do npm install Express. And now what we'll do is create a new file here. Now, since I'm going to be using the import syntax, we have to give it I'll do index. We have to give it an MJS extension. OK, which I know looks a little weird, but it's it's just what we have to do if you want to use this syntax at this point. Uh, so in here, I'm going to uh, usually what we would do is do const express and set this to require express, which is common JS syntax. If we try to use this within an in, within an MJS file, it's actually not going to work. And that's the reason for the, the mixed file extensions. The JS extension is for the common JS and then MJS is for uh, ESM. OK, so let's get rid of this and let's do import. Express from express. OK, and then everything else will obviously be the same. We're just going to initialize an app variable with express. We'll create a simple route. So let's say slash. And we'll put our request response. And let's just do a actually let's do a res dot send. So we're just going to print out to the browser. Hello. And then we'll create a port of 5000. Let's do app dot listen. And we want to listen on that port and then just put a call back in here. I'll just use an arrow and we'll say console dot log and let's put some back ticks in here and say server started on port and then we'll put in our variable port. OK, so let's go ahead and save that. Now let's go. Let's clear this up now. If I just do node index 
like you would if you were using common JS and a dot JS syntax. It's, it's not going to find the index file because it's looking for index dot JS. Now, even if I did clear this up, even if I did node uh, index dot MJS, it's still not going to work. And you can see right here basically doesn't know what this is in order to use this import we have to use the experimental flag so what we need to do is we need to run node dash dash experimental dash modules and then index dot mjs if we run that everything works you can see server started it's also going to give us this notification telling us that the es module loader is experimental All right, so to test this out, let's go to Chrome and let's open up localhost port 5000. And there we go, we get hello. So we're now able to use that syntax. I want to go back to VS Code. Um, now, if you want to create your own modules, you can do that. So let's create a folder. I'm just going to call this hello. It's not going to be anything special. I just want to show you how to use this. And inside hello, let's create um, let's create a file. We'll just call this index.mjs as well. Now, I'm not importing anything into this file, but I am exporting. So I do need to use the mjs extension. Um, so what I'm going to do here is something just very, very simple. I'm going to say export const welcome. And we'll set that to a string and we'll just say welcome to node ESM. Okay, so we're exporting it normally with common JS. What we would do is module dot exports. Okay, and, and any any of you guys that have dealt with node before know that. But now we're just using the ESM export. So now if we go back to our our index MJS, maybe I should have called this something different, but whatever, that's fine. If we want to bring this in. What we have to do is just import. I want to put some we didn't export default, so we're going to put some curly braces around this and we want the welcome variable and that's going to be from and we can just do dot slash hello. It's going to since we called it index, it's going to know automatically that that's what we're loading. And then let's just replace hello this right here, the string with welcome. Now, if I save this and I go to Chrome, and I reload, it's not going to change because obviously we're not using Nodemon or anything like that. So we have to restart the server. Now, if you want to use Nodemon, that's absolutely fine. You can still do that. So let's actually install Nodemon real quick. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? Control C. So I'll say npm install uh, hyphen uppercase D, which will install it as a dev dependency and Nodemon. Okay, and then let's go to our package.json. Once that once you see that show up, we're going to go ahead and add a script here. I'm just going to call it start. We'll just do so we can do npm start and let, let's do node mon and then we still need to do the experimental flag. Experimental modules and then index dot MJS. All right, so now let's go down here and let's run npm start. And now node mon will run and it will also run the flag and we'll we'll be we should be able to do this. So let's go to our browser. When I close it. And let's reload and there we go. Welcome to node ESM so that this string here is coming from our custom module that we created right here. So if we wanted to export something else, we could do that as well. So let's say. Uh, if we wanted to do like a function, we could say export. Uh, let's do function add something very simple and add will take in. Um, what am I doing here? Add will take in a and B and then we'll just return a plus B and we'll save that. And then if we go back to our main index file, we can bring that in as well. So we'll say add. And instead of um, actually, I'm just going to comment. Let's comment this out here. Actually, I'll copy it too. So instead of doing welcome. 
let's run our function. So we'll do add and we'll do five and five. Now, if we do res dot send with the number, it's going to give us an error and tell us to do send. It's going to think we're sending a status. So I'm just going to add on to this dot to string, which is just a JavaScript method to turn it to a string. So let's save that and see if that works. So everything went OK down here. So let's go back to Chrome and reload and we get 10. OK, so we exported that add function from our custom module file and used it. Um, now, if we wanted to export something as default, we could do that as well. So what I'll do is just comment this out and let's do uh, const welcome equals Welcome to node ESM. And then I'll go down here and say export default welcome. And then in our main index file, I'm going to comment this out and let's do import. And now we don't need the curly braces. We can just say welcome from dot slash hello. And then let's just get rid of actually we can comment this out and let's uncomment this. Okay, because we're still using the welcome variable. So we'll save that and let's go back to Chrome and reload and we get welcome to node ESM. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. You can bring in whatever you want now with import and you can export. Just make sure you use the dot MJS and make sure that you use the experimental modules flag as well. Now, if you're not into using the flag or using MJS and you would rather use Babel to compile your JavaScript and, and, and be able to use import export, uh, let me know and I can do a video showing you how to set it up. I actually have like a, a, a Babel starter pack that I usually use when when I want to use Babel with Node. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and please leave a like if you liked it and I will see you in the next video.